Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're going to do a uh, reading for the sign of Aries for the first week of April 2022. See what uh, Spirit has for you. I've pre-shuffled, meditated on the cards already, so we're good to go. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know the next time I upload. And yeah, let's get going. What Spirit have, 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 has to say, sorry. Um, just to let you know, I don't go by uh, gender. I don't use the, the signs because everybody and anybody can be in these these uh, energies. It's less confusing that way. Um, also, if it applies, take what applies. Leave the rest if it doesn't. It's not always going to be your story. Don't try to fit it in where it doesn't belong. So here we go. What are your messages? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white life, the sign of Aries, first week of April 2022. Ooh, right off the bat, ch uh, tower in reverse. That's a big shock. Um, a big shock. Something's not built on firm foundation. Um, maybe built on, uh, you know, like on fantasy or lies. Anyways, it's coming down. The wall, it's all crumbling down. It's all being destroyed for some reason. Um, this is the uh, page of wands reverse. There's been lies. Uh, this is bad news here. It's been lies, possibly some rumor, gossip, slander. There's been a lot of drama. Let's see where this goes. Obviously, it's not a fair foundation if it's built on lies. House of lies, you know what I mean? Tower in reverse with the sign of Aries. Why is this here, please? Big shock, anyways. Um, yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Um, somebody was under some sort of illusion. Mm. They, they got sold a really bad bill of sales. Is that, is that the saying? Anyways, somebody's seen through the illusions, right? Um, maybe they're running about, out of options. But all that glitters isn't gold. Um, the dark side is very, very worried. Nine of Swords in the upright. They're, they're very worried. <clears throat> they're keeping themselves up at night. Um, they're overthinking. <sighs> Stressed beyond belief, I guess. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Why is this here, please? Thank you. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's letting go. Um, letting go of something, an attachment of some sort. They don't have a choice now, I guess. I don't know. It could be a person. It could be a place, a thing, a job. But they got to let it go. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is not, um, somebody's lost power, um, feeling weak maybe, <clears throat> no passion for something anymore. Um, yeah, no new beginnings. Uh, we'll see where this goes. Definitely no passion left. Four pentacles in the reverse for the sign of Aries. First week of April 2022, please. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Something's taken too long. Something's been delayed. This is, by the way, the only knight, <clears throat> excuse me, that makes it to the end, to the finish line, so to speak. The other three knights don't. Um, this person, this energy takes responsibility, right? Even though if they, they might take their time about it, they're very cautious and, and careful, but they do make it to the end. Uh, there could be an offer coming in or a gift. Somebody has integrity, loyalty, or honesty here. They want to take responsibility for something, possibly, bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's a breakup or a divorce. Somebody got some bad advice, possibly. Um, maybe they thought they were above the law. Something was not right. It wasn't fair. Hmm. Let's see here if it reverse, by the way. No faith. No, no, no spirituality, possibly. Could be a divorce settlement. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright? So he's non non-committal. Oh, okay. Well, we have the High Priestess in reverse. Somebody lacked awareness. They uh, did not use their intuition. Could be a lot of shit talking too. Um, or maybe somebody's just coming out with the truth once and once and for all. Paying maybe paying a a dark high priestess to do work for them maybe yeah and waiting to see if it's gonna take hold it could be a tarot read 
wanting to see what's going on, trying to persist to get um, the desired outcome. Um, probably possibly asking themselves, uh, is this going to go anywhere? Can I water this and nurture this and make it grow any further? Um, could be waiting for something to mature. Could be an insurance uh, claim. Could be something in probate. Who knows? Seven of Pentacles in the upright. High Priestess in reverse, please. There's been... Uh, let's see where this goes. Yeah, there's two Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's gaining some clarity. They're trying to keep things afloat. Maybe they're in debt. Borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. They're very overwhelmed. You could be owing much money here. Uh, Hermit in reverse. The truth has come out. Bottom line, truth has come out. What's something was hidden, something was cloaked. It not, it's now seen here, bottom of the deck. Strength. Somebody could be forcing a sale of a home or a business. Four of Wands in reverse. Strength in the upright. Hmm. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This might might not have to do with love, right? It could be business. Two of Pentacles in reverse with Sun of Aries. First week of April, 2022. Please, thank you. Oh, somebody's stuck. Two of Wands in reverse. There could have been a sudden departure or a sudden arrival, leaving somebody stuck, unable to make a decision which direction to go in. Yeah, they're, between, they're in between a rock and a hard place. I don't think it's going to... Either decision, either way, or whatever decision they wind up making, I don't think it's going to be a win, right? It's going to be a lose-lose. So they're, they're, they're really stuck here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is not working. This is not working out. Uh, somebody maybe doesn't have the qualifications that they said they did to, to in order to, to be successful. Uh, they didn't put any work in. They didn't put any effort in. They maybe didn't even try. Or they're not working. They're out of work. Hmm. Could be getting fired, losing their position. Two of Wands in the, in the reverse, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, the White Light. Why is the Two of Wands in the reverse, please? Clarify two. Two, two, right? Twos mean decisions. Um, yeah, two, two and twen uh, 20. That's funny. Huh. So we have a uh, judgment in the upright. So there's an awakening. There's awareness here. A decision needs to be made. This is a wake-up call for someone. Could be a spiritual awakening. Who knows, right? Somebody wants to, a second chance, wants to pull Lazarus and come back. Hmm. But not everybody can come, put it that way. If you're moving on in your life and you're doing well, um, you can't bring everybody with you because not everybody's for you, right? That could be it as well. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands in the upright. This is usually an innovator. Um, I He takes risks, but usually for good reason like he's usually successful at whatever he, he attempts um he's humble he's honorable he's a leader a protector right hmm. it's one of it could be you aries right but mind you i don't go by the signs it's just the energies but yeah that does represent aries um spirit guides guardian angels ancestors of the white light why is the judgment card here, please? Somebody's calling judgment on a situation, person, or sit. Okay, so we have the fool in the upright that flew out. Could be wanting a, a new chance, a, you know, a new beginning, and uh, wanting to apologize. Maybe this is a new beginning, a, a new a, a child with a child. This is a young person. Bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles in reverse. So something's coming to an end. It's either a contract, a third party situation, a collaboration, or a group of people. Somebody works better on their own, maybe. Somebody didn't put the effort in, they didn't try, they were lazy. So it could have been, a, it could be apologizing, like, sorry, I didn't put the, the work in, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I was non committal. Yeah, speaking some truths here, Queen of Swords in the upright. It's approaching the Queen of Swords. Could be it could be work. Ending a collaboration. Uh, maybe somebody was immature. 
who knows? Or maybe they're, in, they're, they're, they're ending a job. They want to come back because they ended a job because they had children at home. Um, thought they could work alone on their own at home. That's not working out, maybe. Or maybe they're ready to go back into the workforce. Who knows? But yeah, I don't think that's what it is. I think there's an ending of a contract. Could have been a false contract here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's seen somebody's worth and value. Four Cups in reverse. They're seizing an opportunity um, that they previously ignored or missed. You know, so maybe they're getting a second look at a person and saying, you know what, I didn't see that before. Now I do. Um, five Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they want to come back in from out of the cold. They want to recoup their losses, so to speak. They come back to a committed relationship now, a higher level of commitment. Here, sent me up, right? Four cups in reverse, or maybe they're just realizing this person gives good advice. They, they want to come back. They, they value their advice. They want to come back and speak with them one more time. Who knows? Four of Cups in reverse. Just the energies are picking up. Like Not all of it uh, fits into your story. Just take what does and leave the rest. There's so many people out there. So many energies and so many different stories. Four of Cups in reverse with Sign of Aries. The first week of April 2022. Spirit, why is this here? Thank you. We have somebody who was reckless, careless, and foolish. Fool in reverse. They, maybe naive. Eight of Cups in reverse. Wherever they wound up, they're not happy. They're pretending they are. They don't want to walk away from something they've invested in, whether it's a business, a relationship, a home. But they're not happy. Hmm. They're grieving. They're regretting. Right? Five of Cups in the uprights. They're crying over spilt milk. They're looking back at this village, this home. And they're missing it. They know they have to cross this river of water here. And water represents emotions. So maybe they have not dealt with these emotions yet. They know they have to. They know they have to. Because they chose the third party. Whether it's a person, a business, whatever. Over, you know, the one that's right for them. And if it's a relationship, it's a soulmate. Partnership. A good partnership. Love or business or whatever. Friendship even. They have to cross these emotions. They have to go through them. Heal. They have to feel them and heal them to move on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This is death in the reverse. Something's ending or in the extreme. They could be really struggling to end something. Right? Um, it could be a, it's a profound end. It's a profound change in their life. Right? Permanent. They know they have to cut something out change something in order to be happy again. Five cups in the upright for the sign of Aries. First week of April. Why is this here? Please clarify. Five of cups. Why is this here? This person's really feeling it. Yeah. This is justice here. They're regretting what they've done, said, didn't say. They know that they have to bring justice to a situation, maybe. Like I said, it could be just an apology, but I mean, I don't think that, if it's an apology, I don't think it's going to bring justice to the person that was wronged, if there was a wrong. It's to bring peace to their mind, because it's maybe chewing them up inside. Yeah, the mood in the, re in the upright. There's um, maybe facing their fears. There's been a lies, secrets, illusions. Um, things were not always as they seemed, right? Yeah. Why is justice here in the upright, please? Bring in, they're bringing balance to a situation. They want to put it behind them, right? They, they, they're they still facing it, though. It's not behind them. This is the empress in the upright. Wow, justice for the empress in the upright. Now, this is a mother figure, typically. Very loving, very nurturing, very giving, uh, very abundant, creative. Um, she's all four queens in the deck. Um, she, she knows the score through her pain and her past pain, right? Because we, we all go through our cycles and our lessons and whatnot. She's learned her lessons. She's graduated, so to speak. But through her pain, she creates new life. This could be a pregnancy. 
Could be. This is a mother here, though. A mother figure, nurturing and loving. Bottom of the deck. There's clarity. Sun in the upright. There's clarity. There's healing. There's happiness here. Maybe that's where they're realizing where they're happy is. Or there could be a decision here. Whether it could be in court or, you know. But there's a decision that's going to bring about some happiness. Hmm. Empress in the upright, the sign of Aries, please. Why is the Empress up here? Is this a baby coming? Is it an expectation? She could be expecting maybe not a baby, but something else. You know, a decision. Final decision. Yeah, the truth. She's expecting the truth. The moon in reverse. She definitely is expecting the truth. Or she, if she is pregnant, the truth is coming out. Maybe somebody doesn't realize she's pregnant. She didn't tell anybody, or maybe, I don't know, something to do with a pregnancy. Somebody standing the ground, though, seven of wands. Protecting. They're very protective, maybe guarded. Um, it could be a fight. <clears throat> could be pushing somebody away. Moon in the reverse, sign of Aries, first week of April, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So somebody's, there's an awakening here. Seeing things from a different perspective. Str they, they were struggling with this possibly, but now they're no, you know, they're, they're freeing themselves. They're going to make a sacrifice maybe. Could be an arrest. <laughs> Could also mean an arrest, right? It is a punishment card. It is a traitor card. Maybe she's going to find out something that was done to her and yeah. Five of Pentacles, somebody was out in the cold, <clears throat> out of lack. Could be a lack of confidence. Could be a homeless, kicked out. Hmm. Wherever they are, they're not happy. Maybe they're pretending, see, she's got this beautiful dress on and coat and getting her photos taken. Maybe, you know, on Facebook and Instagram and shit like that, people always fake their lives. It's always better than what it actually is, so... Maybe somebody sees things from a different perspective. This person is not all that and it's a bag of chips. <laughs> They're actually homeless, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Like I said, if it uh, it's disjoint, disjointed, if it, if it resonates, let me know. Eight of wands in the upright. This is generally good news coming in. Fast forward motion. Good news, taking action. It could be travel. Somebody got arrested. There's going to be some good news. Maybe, yeah, somebody did something to this empress. Or this empress did something. Uh, yeah, no. This king of swords in the upper right bottom of the deck. This is generally um, somebody that is in a position of power. Um, very factual person. Makes a decision and sticks to it. Uh, people uh, generally think, you know, military, police, investigator, lawyer. There's going to be communication coming in, but it's some sort of truth. This is a truth card. This is a yes card. <clears throat> there is truth or some actions going to be taken to bring about some, some to bring it out. Um, the King of Swords, right? This is the sort of truth that he's leaning on and he's about to speak his truth, right? Yeah. If it's a court case, then maybe somebody's going to speak some truth. Maybe they don't have a choice now that they've been arrested. They have to come out with the truth. But, I mean, the lawyer could be saying, listen, <laughs> fess up. It'll be easier this way, right? Yeah, somebody's queen of swords in reverse. Somebody was jealous, vindictive, really pissed off, um, vengeful, spiteful. Maybe talking a lot of crap, a lot of shit, making, you know, stirring up a lot of shit, maybe. It could be a jealous ex or something. I can't just leave it here. Usually I would leave it here. So just get a couple more cards and see where this is going. The King of Swords in the upright. Why is the King of Swords here, please? Sign of Aries. First week of April 2022, please. Could be an inspector. Or inspector. I keep saying that. Why? I don't know. Uh, investigator, I should say. Yes. There's been manipulation and lies. Trickery. Illusion. Somebody's feeling powerless now, though. Huh. They don't have everything they need to, to bring about a success. 
yeah, it's over. Something is over. Death and the upright. It doesn't mean an actual death. I mean, it could, but this t typically means death and rebirth, you know? Something's over, so something better can come along. It's a trans transformation, a trans transition. Hmm. Somebody's waiting for the ships to come in. Three of Wands in the upright. They're waiting. It doesn't have to be ships, but they're waiting. Maybe um, they're going to be traveling. Maybe they're at a distance. Um, they know they have to move forward. They are moving forward, right? They know where they're going. They know how how to get there. Now they know what they want. They have their hand on the one wand out of three. Maybe there's a you know three to choose three choices here. Maybe it's places, people, things. I don't know. They've they've turned their backs on somebody, or somebody's turned their backs on them. They're not going back to whatever this is. They've made a final decision, and they're standing on this rock. This is firm, right? They're standing firm. They're looking at their future. They want to expand their horizons. They're planning out their future. This could be planning, plotting as well. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. Yeah, something has stopped. Maybe they can't travel at this moment. This is chariot reverse. There was lack of awareness, too much baggage. Um leaving it behind is something's not going anywhere it's not moving forward it's not a success it's not a victory there was no structure and and discipline and direction lack of awareness i'll leave that there so i'll be speaking your truth queen of swords here in the upright now she's turned around speaking the truth cutting out what not doesn't belong in their lives any longer very discerning intelligent intuitive very wise you know she can appear cold but she's not just like the king of swords can appear cold they're not cold people they're very professional they're very serious they're very um they don't suffer fools gladly she's gonna take that trusty sword because she knows the truth right and she's gonna leave it behind if need be why is the chariot here in reverse with sign of Aries? First week of April. Thank you. Yeah. Three of swords in reverse. Hmm. Could be going into recovery. Wanting to take some swords out of somebody's heart. Wanting forgiveness. Could be stopping somebody from shit talking. Could be a cease and desist letter. Yeah. Queen of Cups in reverse. She's a nasty piece of work. Um... She's very uh, selfish and superficial. <clears throat> Doesn't care who she hurts. Very emotionally manipulative. Could be a drinker here. Can't keep her emotions, her emotions in check, especially when she doesn't get her, what she wants. She shit talks a lot of people. Three of Swords in Reverse. Last card, please, for the Sun of Aries. First week of April, 2022, please. So whoever this is, they've been stopped. Um, <laughs> cease and desist. I mean, if you need to, go ahead and do it. Right? Three of swords in reverse. Be hurt in somebody's uh, family, business, reputation, whatever it is. If somebody's like, go, they're giving up. They might be angry, but they're giving up. Bye, bitch. <laughs> That's what I hear. Bye, bitch. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. So something didn't work. Somebody lost their power. Uh, they're no longer attracted to somebody or they have no passion left for somebody. It's just, or for something, they're just done. Yeah, done. World in the upright, right? This is a full, this is a uh, cycle ending, a major cycle ending. This is full circle. It's done. It's over. Mm, success. I'm just going to stay in my little bubble here and you can't come in. <laughs> So that's what we have for Aries. Let's close it out with one of these messages from the uh, wi uh, Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light, what are your messages for the sign of Aries the first week of April 2022? What is your message, please, for the sign of Aries to close this reading out? Okay. All right. Okay. We hear you. Thank you, Spirit. No place like home in the reverse, number 50, which is a five in the tarot deck. That's five in reverse, which is the hierophant in reverse. So there is a, uh, a breakup, a, a divorce, 
or it could be a sale of a home, I don't know, no place at home. So somebody doesn't have a home anymore, they could be homeless. Who knows? Take it as, a, as a, it applies, like I said. So I'm just going to read the protection message since it, it's in the reverse. Just a second, Aries. I'll be right with you. 50. No place like home. Okay, there are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory-driven creatures, and we all look for... And we all look for certainty for what we know, even if the qualities we seek in other people and in external conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there will be, there will find a new normal. You will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Sorry. Remember, if you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar. And you will attract and be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be different unless you do something different. Yeah. That's the true mark of insanity. To repeatedly do something over and over again and expect to get a different outcome. So that's what we have for you, Aries, the first week of April. Hopefully that gives you some insight and some guidance. Um, until next time, take care.